what can I say but that uh, I am now going to have some new items for this camera nice and this is for the laptop I'm waiting for more parts to come in that's coming in tomorrow which is the um, 2 16 gig uh, RAM for the laptop terabyte hard drive so I can switch out the uh, um, the hard drive in the laptop as well so looking forward to it so this uh, terabyte drive I thought it would come with a um, cord but I guess I might have to order a cord either that or just uh, do a simple uh, recovery instead of a clone copy um, this is it Metallic sound, it looks dirty. Yeah, so manual and that's it. So I got the SSD, got the two RAMs, and I've been waiting to get the Evermedia component to USB. I finally got that, so I'll be able to use that on the Sony FX1, hopefully. We'll see. The laptop that I um switched over as you can see little marks it's hard to do um, I basically used the end of this uh, screwdriver and uh, pried it open and then they say it's better to use a uh, credit card I use my Amazon card this one's the sturdiest one I got and pushed in on these ledges edges here to get it open so I will be replacing this hard drive and replacing these two sticks of RAM. Uh, I do have the M2 um, SSD I could also add on. So that will be a, a gig here and another, um, I mean not a gig, but a terabyte there and a terabyte drive here if I want it. Uh, but I spent too much money already, so just going to switch out this one with that Samsung drive for now. Looks like there's two more screws on this corner here and that corner there. So this plastic part goes here. This metal part goes here. Okay. Okay, so this part's loose, 
just put it in between the uh, screw slots and uh, this part and sand. So basically this will go in like this and we will tighten it over here. The slots go underneath and fits in right there with the slots and the ends right here. But I'm going to connect this cable first. Okay, so connected the cable. Put it in between the slots here. Pull it down. Make it fit. And I will put the screws in right here and here. Okay. Everything's secure, tightened, snug. Now I'm going to remove these. I'm going to remove the RAMs and install two 16 gigs, making a 32 gig drive. Uh, RAM, 32 gig RAMs. Pull this out. Pull this out. And here, get that out. Okay. Make sure it matches the slots. And put it down. And just remember. that the uh, rams here will work up to your uh, maximum uh, gigahertz speed but I'm going to try it out see if it um, boots up correctly so I still have this loose because I just want to test it out I'm turning it on Let's see if it'll boot up correctly with the 32 gigs of total RAM installed now and the SSD. All right, it is. It booted up. Okay, it's taking some time to uh, boot. But oh, it, it started up just fine. It's booting up. So, looks like it's good, recognizes it. Storage, desktop, 96 gigs. Apps and features, 35. Okay. So, as you can see, Intel i7, 1.99 gigahertz, 32 gigs of RAM. Looking nice. 32 gigs RAM recognized. And uh, this specific setup was uh, recognizable up to 16 gigs max, but um, I mean standard. So, um, what, from what I read, it can handle up to 32 gigs. So, hopefully, this will run uh, things a lot faster. Uh, let's see. Let's run Resolve. Did I not double click it in time? Okay. I clicked on uh, 
resolved, it's booting up. Yeah. GeForce. One program running. I would have thought it would um, load up a little bit faster still, but maybe because it is booting up for the first time and everything. Okay. Fan is running. But I'm not seeing anything happen right now. Hmm. Alright. Looks like it's running pretty smooth. Alright, this off. Turn it back on after I uh, put everything back together in one piece. And I just realized I think I lost my screws on these. Where the freak did I put it? Oh, there it is. Alright, I'll be right back. So basically, I'm just gonna have to put this back in place again. The corner edges, you see a little bit um, of a uh, scratches and marks from trying to pull this open earlier all right match it up see the little scratch marks there but all in all back the other parts loose but everything else is tight okay I'm going to screw them back in Things back in place. Okay. So you'll see that there's little gaps still from having opened it, so it's not going to look as nice um, as before. But at least I'm hoping I'll have better in um, improvement on performance and speed with the hard drive. When I got this one, um, it actually took me a whole week to uh, get this ready and install because of the um, my bad. And I thought I had this cable for the but the USB 
um, I got the USB-C model this time since uh, I did not have the one I needed. And I figure for future upgrades, it'll be using a USB-C anyway. So I got this instead, which worked. 